G'day again. Today we're going to look at the area of a triangle. So you're probably used to looking at the area of triangles which look something like this and you look at this one and you think, oh I can do that. That's half the base which is 9 multiplied by the height which is 7. And you're probably used to that formula, so half multiplied by 63 is 31 and a half. So you would say, well that's 31.5 centimetres squared. You go, yeah, I can do that, no problem. Alright, so that's half base times height. Look at this one, you go, I can do that too. Half the base times the height, because it's a right angle, you know that that's automatically the height. So you just go half multiplied by 8 multiplied by 9. 9 8 to 72, half of 72 equals 36 centimetres squared. You could punch it in your calculator if you weren't up to scratch in your times tables. Learn your times tables, it speeds you up. What happens when you get a triangle like this and you go, oh my goodness, there's no right angle, they haven't given me the height, what the heck do I do? Well, pretty simple. You're given a formula sheet and it's actually got area of triangle on it and it says half AB sine C. Now, you should know in triangles A and B are opposite angles A and B and C is opposite angle C. So in this triangle, if this is C, which must be the angle that we're referring to, this is side C. So this is angle C. So A and B are here. And it doesn't matter which one you call A and which one you call B, as long as you realise there's your A and your B. Okay? You just put them into this formula and bang, there's your answer. So let's rub out this because this is stuff you should be used to. And we'll do one example here, we'll rub it out and we'll do another one. So half AB sine C, so you're going to go half multiplied by, like I said, doesn't matter which one you put as A and B. So we'll go 19 times 30 multiplied by sine 28 punch that in your calculator and you end up with, what have we got? 133.7999 which is basically 0.8 centimetres squared. And it's a very easy way to find the area of a triangle. Sometimes they might give you this and we'll just do another one. Let's do a second example. We're going to use this formula and we'll just change something. And this is probably as difficult as they can make it, is if they give you that's 60 and they give you that's 50 and they say what's the area of the triangle? And you go, oh I can't do it. Well yeah you can because you know that you've got to do another step. That plus that plus that is 180 and you've just got to figure that angle and then you've got half AB sine C. So that's probably as difficult a question as you could get for this sort of triangular thing. Okay, there's not really any more difficult questions they can make up that are plain questions. They can write descriptive questions, but if it's a plain question, that's probably as hard as it gets. So we've got 180 minus 60 plus 50 is 110. So that would equal 70. So then we're going to go half multiplied by 19, multiplied by 30, multiplied by sine 70. And that would be as difficult as you can. Let's punch that into our calculator and we get a half multiplied by 19 multiplied by 30 multiplied by sine 70. And we get 267.8. So 267.8 centimetres squared and you're done.